All right, it's about 5.45 in the morning and we're about to do a virtual photo shoot. A few things. Okay, so she has the Google Hangout app on her phone, so she's gonna be using her phone and we're gonna be using our laptop. And instead of taking a screenshot where we'll just get a pretty bad quality photo, we're actually gonna be taking raw photos with our camera of our laptop screen. Which could go one of two ways. Mm -hmm. We also found out yesterday that she lives on the East Coast and we live on the West Coast and the light in her house is best early in the morning. So we had to wake up pretty early for this. Wish us luck. <laughs> oh, and thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get started. <laughs> now let's get started. Before you start your shoot, make sure you send your model a mood board so that you're on the same page. For this shoot, we chose the timely theme of isolation and sent our model Britta these photos for inspiration. With your model, figure out when the best light is available in their house. And the light in her house is best early in the morning. Early in the morning. Early in the morning. Have your model self-style or help guide them on wardrobe and props. I, well, I brought in a bunch of uh, little things. I don't know if you guys want to mess around. Obviously, I have a prism, but I... Uh, I just have some like other weird like lens attachment stuff that that like attach on my lens or like oh, nice. little like crystal stuff oh, that I thought maybe would be I fun if you guys crystal. want. Ask your model to show you around their room so you can identify vignettes in which you want to shoot. I was just gonna say, could we maybe just see around the room real quick before we like get too far down the road? Okay. This is like a little corner. Got a little bit of light coming in there. Closet, plants, plants, plants. <laughs> Three windows, my bed, and there's this little corner. Oh, look at A little prism light. FaceTime is ideal because of its live photo capability. Basically, it'll take a snapshot of your model's camera without having your own camera in the shot. If you don't have the ability to use FaceTime, you can do what we're doing today and use something like Google Hangouts instead. Can you hear us? I can, can oh. you hear me? Yes. We didn't love the quality of the screenshots with Google Hangouts, so we decided to use our Canon 5D Mark IV and actually take photos of our laptop screen. This method made it feel a little bit more like a photo shoot and gave us raw photos at the end to work with. Bonus tip, don't forget to clean off your computer screen. We used a 100 millimeter lens so our frame would be filled mostly with our laptop screen and not distort it. Feel free to try it out with whatever lens you have handy though. Just try to make sure your computer screen is parallel to your camera lens. Oh, amazing. Oh yeah, that's sick. Okay, so go ahead and look off. Love it. Do you like it like full on, like full entire face in it? Yeah, like, that's looking yeah. really cool. Maybe it's... we could try a couple things. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with the light in your house. Perfect. Wait, one more. Can you um just lift your head up a little bit more so your eyes in that light right there? That's gorgeous. Uh, that's pretty Go. good. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Oh, we got a cold wave coming. Yeah, that's sick. Yeah, let's, let's do that first. That. Yeah. <laughs> Should we maybe try one of those? Yeah, let's ones? try one of your, those like crystal yeah. type things you have. Okay, yeah, do you want to try throwing that? Yeah, throwing that thing on it? I think it's, yeah, maybe just dangle it right in front of the phone lens. Yeah, that's cool. Oh my gosh, go ahead and look up again. I love that. Yeah, beautiful. Oh yeah, there you go. Perfect. Oh my gosh. You wanna try this one? Yeah, yeah sure. that's that one's sick. really cool too. happy with that. Is, can you put your um, phone like across from your bed and maybe like lay down in that nice light that's on it? Yep. Let's see. So do you want it to be like landscape? What do you think, Daniel? Like that or do you want it portrait? Probably landscape. Yeah, we'll go for a landscape. Okay, cool. Do you want it a little bit higher? Probably kind of like that. Yeah, I'm that's guessing. cool. Is that good? Yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. Cool. That's sick. 
Can you move your head towards the window a little bit more? Let's see. There, her eyes are in the light. Oh, yeah. You can get your eyes in the light. They, they, yeah, they, yeah, they, there you go. This is actually so fun. Oh, I love that. Yeah, that's great. Oh my gosh, I love that. Perfect, yeah, that's great. Yeah, can you scoot like farther up in frame again? Just so we're not cropping you at your knees. No, like um, closer, closer to your to... window, I think. Is that? Too... Is my hand still burning? Like, where's the? We like, lost your. The... Yeah, we're losing at like the elbow, but yeah, that's good. Perfect. Like, okay. oh, that's cool. Wait, that. yeah, that's super sick. Is there still like that corner with like a little bit of like kind of like a spotlight almost? Do you want to try like playing around over there? I have a uh, like some like sheet oh, I could lay down cool. if you guys like wanted to yeah. have that in the corner. You're so prepared. I love yeah, that's, that. That's great. <laughs> so would you want to put your like face in that light, like uh, facing us? That's really beautiful. The quality of the front-facing camera of your model's phone is probably not as good as the rear-facing camera. If possible, have your model turn the phone around so that the images are taken with the rear-facing camera. If the model still needs to see herself, have her place a mirror behind the phone. I'm curious if the camera that's on the front is significantly better, so yeah. I'm gonna switch it. Because it is easier when I can see myself, you know? Yeah. To see what to do. But if it's like, if the quality is a lot better, Prop might be worth it to her. This looks better the, to the me. The exposure looks better. Like yeah, the it does look better. Like so maybe we could, that's good framing still, so good. Did you guys want to try maybe doing some uh, backlit ones against the window? Definitely. Like some full body maybe? Yeah, sure. Help your model find the perfect camera placement and framing for each vignette. Would you like it better, you think, landscape or portrait? That's a good question. Let's try a uh, portrait just to see if we can okay. get your, you know, full body in there. Cool. Oh my gosh, this is sick. Yeah, that's cool. Could you sit on the bed maybe? Like on the edge of it? Yeah, the one closer to the window. Yeah, that's good. Do you want me to move it over, or do you want, is it fine like this? That's good. Let's maybe, see. maybe put your hands like under your chin. Yeah, that's good. There's like this little bit of light right here. I don't know how it will oh, show cool. up, but oh, it's kind of cool. It looks like you're underwater. Yeah, it's like oh wow. Very. Let's see, where is it? Oh my gosh, I love that. Yeah, it's that's gorgeous. sick. Yeah, go ahead and look um, off, like just above the camera. Yeah, I love that. Killing it. I yeah. love it. It's so good. Everything's so cool. Sweet. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Have a good rest of your day. Since we are working with photos of a screen from footage from a phone, we don't have a lot of push and pull with editing before the quality starts to break down. We decided to turn a couple of our presets into camera profiles so that we can adjust the intensity of the presets. We have a whole video on this, but to do this, you're gonna to wanna to open Camera Raw in Photoshop, apply the preset you wanna turn into a profile, and hold Alt or Option and click the new preset icon. Then just save it and relaunch Lightroom. Now we can select the new profile and bring the amount slider down. Since we're taking photos of a screen, we did get a bit of moray in our images. To remove this, we painted with an adjustment brush over the entire photo and just raised the moray slider until it mostly disappeared. We recommend doing this step last because it does slow Lightroom down a fair amount. This is basically a whole new medium, so don't get too hung up on everything being perfect. The goal isn't to make the photos look like they came straight out of a camera. It's to embrace this new way of expressing yourself. We downloaded a free trial of Exposure X5, which lets you add dust, scratches, and light leaks. It may be a little gimmicky, but if you like it, just embrace it. Have fun with it. Okay, ready? Now. Squarespace!
All right, my first time making a website. I'm a little nervous, but I'm excited. Let's do this. I'm already done making my website. Are you surprised? I am. I'm really impressed with Squarespace's blogging tools. Yay. Whoa, they've got email campaigns? I'm totally gonna send one. <sighs> that was totally worth it. Look at all this traffic overview. It's all right here. A year ago, I didn't think I could have my own beautiful website, but Squarespace made it so easy. Thank you. This year, give yourself the gift of your own beautiful website with Squarespace. Save 10% when you use the code MANGOSTREET at checkout. Head to the link in our description to get started. Okay, so we just finished the shoot. How do you think that it went? I think it turned out really well. Yeah, she had amazing light in her house and she also came prepared with some props and some cool ideas. Like she had the little gem that she held in front of the lens and the, what's that thing called? That I don't know. There's a name for it. We'll say, we'll maybe put it in text what it is. It made it worth waking up at 5 a.m. because the lighting in her room was so cool. I like the fact that we shot with a camera. Um, it seemed dumb to do it at first, like taking a picture of a screen seems like a really dumb thing to do. I like that we'll have a lot more flexibility when we're editing them later. If you can do it over FaceTime, the quality might be a little bit better because you can capture your participant's camera with the live photo option on FaceTime. We hope you enjoyed watching our virtual photo shoot, and if you want to try it out for yourself, make sure you use the hashtag MangoStreetQuarantine when you post and tag us, and then we'll be reposting our favorites on our Instagram stories. Like, subscribe, ring that bell, follow Britta Bug on Instagram, and yeah. we'll see you next week. Bye.